Good afternoon, grade nine. How are you doing? Hope you are fine. Staying safe at home. Ramadan Kareem to all of you. This is our first session uh, in Ramadan. Hope you are doing fine. We will continue revising. We have uh, today uh, chapter five, lesson three, adding and subtracting rational expressions. Let's take a quick review over this lesson. Uh, adding and subtracting rational expressions. Uh, adding and subtracting, and subtracting rational expression is similar to adding and subtracting fractions. To add or subtract rational expression with like denominators, add or subtract the numerators and use the same denominators. Like here, one fifth plus three fifth is equal to four fifth. I added the numerators together and I kept the denominators as they are. So I have now, even uh, if, the, if it is subtraction, I subtract the numerators and I kept the denominators as they are. Here I have 3x minus 4 over x plus 3 plus 2x plus 5 over x plus 5 x plus 3 so now I have the same denominator so I will keep it as it is and I will add the numerators together uh, so uh, I will collect the like terms together 3x minus 4 plus 2x plus 5 so I will collect the like terms together which is 3x plus 2x which is 5x minus 4 plus 5 which is 1 so the final answer is 5x plus 1 over x plus the expression is undefined and x is equal to negative 3 because this value makes x plus 3 is equal to 0. Please don't forget this line because the expression is undefined at this value. Here I have the same. If I have subtraction, I'm going also to do the same. But please don't forget to distribute here the negative sign over the two terms. Next. We got least common multiple LCM of polynomials. To find the LCM of polynomials, factor each polynomial completely. Write any repeated factors as powers. For example, x cubed plus 6x squared plus 9x is equal to x. I'm going to take x as a common factor. I will divide here x squared plus 6x plus 9. Uh, so it will be x plus 3 squared and i completed factoring it. List all, uh, list the different factors. If the polynomial have common factors, use the highest power of each common factor. For example, here, find the least common multiple for each pair, the least common multiple. So what I'm going to do, step one, factor each polynomial completely. So two multiplied by x cubed multiplied by y, y to the power four. And this term three, x to the power five, y to the power three, when I'm going to uh, uh, factor it, it will be three multiplied by x to the power five multiplied by y to the power three. So the LCM here is, I'm going, if I'm going to talk about the coefficients, so I will take two multiplied by three, x to the power three and x to the power five. So I'm going to take the highest uh, power, which is x to the power five, y to the power four and y to the power three. I'm going to take the highest power, which is y to the power four. So six x to the power five, y to the power four. Here I have x squared plus 3x minus 4 and x squared minus 3x plus 4. I'm going to factor the two equations and uh, I have here x minus 1 common uh, factor. So I am going to write it and I'm going to write multiplied by the other two terms, which is x minus 1 and x minus 2 and x plus 4. Here I have um, different denominators. Uh, one of them can be factored. 
So uh, in 3a, I have x squared with 3x plus 2 in the denominator here. So when I factored it, I have x plus 1, x plus 2. And in the other term, I have x plus 1 as denominator. So what I'm going to do in this case, I'm going to make it the same denominator as the first one. How I have here x plus 1. And here I have x plus 1 multiplied by x plus 2. So what is missing here? Here x plus 2 is missing. So I'm going to multiply the second term by x plus 2 up and down. x plus 2 up and down are the same. They will cancel each other as if they are not here. But I will get used of them by multiplying the denominators by each other to get x plus 1 and x plus 2 down. So now I got the same denominator. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add the numerators together by collecting the like terms together. x minus 1 plus x multiplied by x plus 2. So I will get x squared by 3x minus 1. So it is x squared by 3x minus 1. Or I can write it as x squared plus 3x minus 1 over x squared plus 3x plus 2. Right, the sum in factored or expanded form as you like. Add, identify any x values for which the expression is undefined. Okay, I have here x plus 3 as denominator and the other term I have x squared minus 9. Difference between perfect square. So I have here uh, x plus 3. If I will factor it, it will be x plus 3, x minus 3. So and in the other term, I have x plus 3 as the denominator. So what is missing here? Missing here is x minus 3. So I'm going to multiply the first term up and down numerator and denominator by x minus 3 to get uh, equal denominator. So uh, I got it here now, x plus 3, x minus 3 as uh, equal uh, denominator. Now I'm going to add x multiplied by x minus 3 plus negative 18. Uh, so it will, negative 18 will cancel the positive sign here. Now I'm going to write the numerator in standard form. Then I'm going to factor x plus 3 will cancel the x plus 3 in the denominator. Now I have x minus 6 and x minus 3. I want to get the value in which the expression is undefined, which means that x minus 3 is equal to 0, so x is equal to 3. That will make the expression is undefined because when I put x is 3 here, 3 minus 3 is equal to 0, which makes the expression undefined. Exactly, I'm going to do the same for subtraction. Some rational expressions are complex fraction. A complex fraction contains one or more fraction in its numerator. Some rational expressions are complex fraction. A complex fraction contains one or more fractions in its numerator, its denominator or both Examples of complex fractions are shown. Okay, as you see here, I have 1 plus 1 over x in the numerator. In the denominator, I have 3 over x. Both here in the numerators and in the denominators, I have complex fractions. Fraction in the fraction itself. How I'm going to simplify the complex fraction? Method one, write the complex fraction as division. Okay, 2x plus x over 4 over x divided by 1, or over x plus 1 over x. How I'm going to write this? 2 over x plus x over 4 divided by x plus 1 over x. Then multiply by the reciprocal. I am going to do the in, write the inverse, x over x plus 1. Then here in this part only I have different denominators. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to multiply the first one by 4 over 4 and the second one by x over x to get in both terms equal denominators. 4x here and 4x here. 
Then I have up to 2 multiplied by 4 and x multiplied by x. So I have 8 plus x squared. On the other hand, I have here x over x plus 1. So x and x plus 1 here also. So I got this one, x8 plus x squared over x, 4x multiplied by x over x plus 1. I can cancel this x by the x down in the denominator. And I can write my final answer as 8 plus x squared over 4 multiplied by x plus 1. Or I can write it in the expanded form or, in the, or as factor. I prefer this method. Let me also show you the other method. Multiply the numerators and denominators of the complex fraction by the LCD of the fractions in the numerator and in the denominators. This way is a little bit confusing. And I prefer you to use the first one better. The second one, you're going to multiply the numerator and the denominator of the complex fraction by the LCD of the fraction of the numerator and the denominator. So the LCD here is 4x. You're going to multiply up and down by 4x. Then divide the common factors, then you will get the same answer. Let's solve here some problems together. Okay, I have here adding fractions, rational expressions with the same denominators. So what I'm going to do, I will write down here same denominators so what i'm going to do as the fractions exactly i'm going to add the numerators adding the numerators so i'm going to collect the like terms together so the like terms together here is 2x plus 3x so it is 5x okay negative 3 and positive 4 minus 3 plus 4 is plus 1 over the same denominator which is 4x minus okay next i have the same denominator for x plus 5 so and that's subtracting here so don't forget to distribute the negative sign upon the terms here so now let's collect the like terms 3x minus 5x so it will be negative 2x okay and negative 4 minus 3 so minus 4 minus 3 is minus 7 okay and then i'm going to write the denominator as it is here I have same denominators, so I'm going to subtract easily. Okay, collect the like terms together. 4x minus 4x. 4x minus 4x. will cancel each other. Minus 3. And I will distribute minus 3 over the positive 3 here. So minus 3 over minus 3. So it will be negative 6. Now I have the same. We here forgot a step that uh, identify any x values for which the expression is undefined. Okay. So I must get the value of x in each denominator that will make the expression is undefined so for example here for x minus 1 is equal to 0 for x minus 1 is equal to 0 let me write it here so i have here where it is yes. for x minus 1 is equal to 
to zero. So four x is equal to one. So x is equal to one over four. So the expression is undefined. Undefined when x is equal to one over four. So the expression is undefined when x is equal to one over four. Let me do the same step here. I have in the denominator because when I substitute here x by one over four, I will get zero in the denominator and the expression here will be undefined. The same I'm going to do here in number three. Four x plus five is equal to zero. Four x is equal to negative five. So uh, x is equal to negative 5 over 4. So it is undefined when x is equal to negative 5 over 4. Here, x minus 5 is equal to 0. So 2x is equal to 5. So x is equal to 5 over 2. So it is undefined when x is equal to 5 over 2. Find the least common multiple for each pair. I have here. Uh, 4x squared y cubed and 16x to the power 4y. So uh, 4 and 16. So I'm going to take uh, the least common multiple here in 4 and 16. So it is 16. And between x squared and x to the power 4. So I'm going to take the greatest power, which is x to the power 4. And between y to the power 3 and y, I'm going to take the greatest power, which is y to the power 3. Let me write here the powers. Okay. Here I have uh, x squared minus 25, which I'm going to factor it to be x minus 5 and x plus 5. And this one, if I will factor it, it is uh, x squared plus 10x plus 25. 25 is 5 and 5. And if I add them, it will be x plus as we see here that I have x plus 5 and x plus 5 common here, so they will cancel each other. So I will take x plus 5 as a common factor here, multiplied by another x plus 5. Uh, multiplied by x minus I can write it in another way. I can write it x plus 5 squared multiplied by x minus 5. Because I have 2 times x plus 5. This one is common here. That's why I take it as a common factor here. And this one, I multiply by this one, and then I multiply by this one. I wrote it here, and I wrote it here. Okay, add or subtract, identify any x values for which the expression is undefined. Um, let's take 8. Uh, I have here different denominators, 12x plus 4 and 3x plus 1. If I will take here common factor 4, 4, 
if I will divide 12x by 4, so it will be 3x. If I divide, divide 4 by 4, so it will be 1, so it will be 3x plus 1. Uh, so now I will divide the second term by 4 in the numerator and 4 in the denominator. Why 4? Because I have here common 3x plus 1 in the denominator and common here 3x plus 1 in the denominator. What is missing here? 4 is here and not here, so 4 is missing here. So I'm going to multiply here, multiply by 4 up and multiply by 4 down to get the same denominator. So uh, when I multiply by 4 and up and down, I, I will get the same denominator. Let me write it here when I have uh, multiplied and I have the same denominator. Let me uh, now collect the like terms together. Don't forget that. 4 is multiplied by this term. So I have now 12x minus 4 because I multiplied 4 by 3x. So now I have 12x minus 4. Let me write it here. I have 12x minus 4. 12 x minus 4. So this term now is 12x minus 4. So if I write now, let's collect like terms together. 4x plus 12x, so it is 16x. Minus 5. Minus 4, it is minus 9. Over the common, uh, over the like denominator, which is 4, multiplied by 3x plus and this is the answer of number 8. Okay, I have here um, 9 like 11 like 12 they all have the same idea that I'm going to factor the denominator uh, in here like here or here or here I'm going to factor the denominator and when I factor it I will find common x plus 3 or x plus 3 or x minus 4 let me do one of them I will do 9 when I factor it, it will be x minus 3, x plus 3. So I have common here, x plus 3 and x plus 3. What is not here? x minus 3. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to multiply up and down by x minus 3. Okay. So now I got in the denominator x minus 3. And then I'm going to continue my steps as I did before. I'm going to multiply x minus 3 by 2x minus 1 and collect the like terms together. The same I'm going to do here. x squared minus 16 will be x minus 4, x plus 4. Then I have x minus 4 and x minus 4 common. So I'm going to multiply up and down by what is missing here. x, x plus 4 is missing here. x minus 4 and x minus 4. So what is missing? x plus 4 and x plus 4. So now I have the two denominators as they are. Simplify, assume that all expressions are undefined. I'm going to solve it by the first method that we're going to write it as division. Uh, so I will write it here as 
I hope I will get enough space. So x minus 3 over x minus 2. This is the numerator only. This is the numerator only. Okay. Then multiply a uh, divide by 4x minus 3. Divide by x squared minus 4. Let me write and draw the lines here and here. So now I wrote it as division equations. I took this one alone. I wrote it here. Divide, and I wrote divide here by this term, which is here. How I will solve this one? How I'm going to solve this one? By reciprocal. Let me continue here. 2x minus 3 over x minus 2. Then I'm going to divide. I'm going to divide by the reciprocal, which is x squared minus 4 over 4x minus 3. Okay, girls, I'm going now to multiply by the reciprocal. What happened here? I took this part and I wrote it alone. Divide the sign, divide here, over, I wrote it as divide. By this term and I write it here, it's x squared, but maybe the, the arrow come here. Let me erase this part, yes. Okay, I will get, right, the reciprocal, I will multiply by the reciprocal, reciprocal, I will write the inverse. Multiply by x squared minus four, minus 4 over 4x minus 3. This will be factored as x. Let me write it better. This will be factored as x minus 2, x plus 2. This term will cancel this one. This one is already factored, so my final answer will be 2x minus 3. 2x minus 3 multiplied by x plus 2 over 4x minus 3. And this will be final answer okay girls thank you so much for listening and hope you got it and see you tomorrow thank you so much